first. Yeah. Cooked rice. Yes, the way it smells, it's 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 like on that way. Uh, yeah, it, it lasts. Uh, it can last at least for three weeks without uh, it. And you know, now and then leopard has to come into the area. Maybe at night, maybe during the day, as is doing now. It's up to him. As we know, because the day today is much more beautiful, it's overcast, it starts to be blowing, it's windy a little bit into the area where we are, and it, gives, it enables these predators to move quite a lot. As you can see, since we get to spot at him, he was just lying down for a few minutes and is off now into the road. Look the way he does scratching on the ground with the behind legs and urinate there because it really can hold. If the ground is being scrapped a little bit, the perfume it can hold, it can last longer. Let's try to maybe he's a little bit exhausted if we can able to do this So close to him, you won't believe the leopard. Uh, you're about like two meters away from him. Beautiful rosette mark, as you can see there. The rosette that he has is a wonderful cat. Look at the whiskies that they have. It helps for the leopard, really, especially moving at night. You get to tall grasses and so on. You get to feel the environment that is it's on at that moment. It was amazing race, no? Yeah. Really, really close. It's amazing cat. It's been a while huh, for him to be like this. I've seen million cars on his life. Look at there. Is where the hyena come from, from the bush. He looks like he's cutting across it there. He might come back to the road. Let's so quickly go to the game drive. The leopard is not so far from one of the um, cutlands to our neighbor farm. If we had it into the other side, it would be better, guys. So we might, um, yeah, because the finger, if he goes to our right, it will mean we'll keep on following him. But if he goes to the left, where the road is forked, it means uh, we'll have only two minutes of sighting. Leopard. Otherwise, he'll be gone into the other side. But it looks like it's in our finger. Because the finger there has to keep it going. No, leopard. As I that is one of the road takers into our neighbor farm boundary. So we have to call the other station. Uh, again, drive the Okay, my I think uh, uh, I'm It looks like it's approaching now, it's two minutes away with little guy sign. Yeah, it's And Mr. Sheik copy me in this channel. Uh, station, if you copy me, my full finger is pushing the Tigari channel from uh, Big Bay. Hey, Yaku, I 
like to respond. Uh, I'm so far away, but I'd like to try and make my way there. Copy Yako, yeah, it will be like two minutes, it will be right at the time. Excellent, thank you. Let's know that the laptop is approaching to the boundaries, that is responding. But we wish for this malacca to stay a little bit well or find a spot underneath the big tree that is going. If we can hold at least for five minutes lying down there we we'll appreciate that beautiful cut as you can see Welcome back to Vieco from the leopard sighting uh, slant went down it was difficult for you guys to see and now the leopard is over into the other uh, farm which we're not able to follow up it's our neighbor farm we don't have rice to follow so we're gonna head it into the north slowly slowly back into the camp and we'll be checking something along to the road into that direction. It was a very good morning for leopard and yes, elephant and rhino from the beginning. So let us try to see if we can locate something else on our way. 